Hi. Let me share a story with you. Many, 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 many moons ago, there came to this planet a species, a group of people who were very universal in their thinking, very much cosmic in their connection. They were able to tap into the universal flux and reflux. Their technology was extraordinary. These people, we'll call them Lemurians. They inhabited this planet from someplace else. Some people believe Mars. Some people believe Pleiades, Sirius. Lots of different faiths, lots of different myths are kind of attached to this story. You know what? I kind of believe we came from Mars. Oh, did I say we? I meant they. And the Lemurians came to this planet inhabiting it, and they may have actually showed up riding a spaceship in the shape of a, I oh, will say a pyramid. Yeah, kind of like the Giza pyramid potentially, but I mean, that's fiction. So this Lemurian civilization inhabited this planet. They settled in. They had a really tough time tapping into the Terran frequencies. In other words, Schumann resonance, being earthbound and earth energies. They had a tough time with those. So they created, well, they created some cer ceremonies, some rituals that would enable them to really tap into the earth and all that it brings to the table. Um, those ceremonies, I guess, you know, if you really look at it, could probably be potentially a sweat lodge ceremony or a stone people's purification lodge. And the whole idea was to bring in the spirit, meeting the earth, and the kind of blending together to create something very positive for this Lemurian species. Again, all of this is just fiction, not a word of truth to it in any way, shape, or form, okay? Well, that species, that civilization was here for a while, but then they knew there was going to be some changes coming, some template activity moving around, some upheavals, some disasters taking place. And so what they did was, into the ocean bed, they buried some crystals. We call them Lumerian seed crystals. And these Lumerian seed crystals, look it up online, we thought were just fiction, myth, legend if you like, until not so long ago there was a guy in Brazil, Dom, Dominique, who found a whole whack of them. And I encourage you to kind of look up the research on those ones because that's a fascinating story. And of course I'll teach it in later pics and later videos. But what happened was the Lumerian civilization crashed. Crash, boom, bang, smash. But there was enough people left over that they became the Atlanteans, we'll say. And the Atlanteans were here for quite some time, and their civilization kind of came to an end as well. Crash, boom, bang, smash. And they later became, well, we have the Lemurians who became the Atlanteans, who became the Sumerians potentially, and a bunch of other Eons. But the bottom line is that now it's our turn. And here we are, this is kind of neat part of the story, is that we're in a position where we actually believe our civilization and our planet is going through a shift, and certainly the civilizations that we know it today are quickly coming to an end. Well, here's a cool part of the story, okay? Here's the happy ending, if you like. Now, the reason why things like 2012 and, you know, revelations and Nostradamus predictions and all that stuff are so kind of in, important is because, you know, those fear-based dynamics do feed the collective consciousness. And if enough of us believe the world is coming to an end, it will. No, 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 really, really. You have a say. You really do. And it has anything to do with where you're putting your attention. If you firmly believe this planet's coming to an end and that's not such a horrible thing, yeah, well, we're out of here. But if you, you, yeah, the, it's, all, it's all on you, man. It's all on you. Not just me, not just the powers that be and the things that you feel helpless about, but it's all about you, the individual, and where your consciousness is at. This can be an opportunity for enlightenment. This could be an opportunity to step back into maybe some of that Lumerian consciousness so that you can be awakened, you can be cosmically aware and all that stuff, but we gotta have to leave some of our junk behind, like raping the planet, like raping each other, you know? Like, like all of that crappy stuff that yes, is a part of the human dynamic and that's kind of why you were here in the first place in this lifetime was to explore some of that stuff. But the bottom line is now is kind of the time to leave some of that crap behind and step into not just love and light, but a practical awareness of what's really going on out there in the universe. And it has very, very, very little to do with Big Macs and nuggets and, you know, burning oil and all of that crappy stuff that we're doing to ourselves, to our planet, to our world around us on a regular basis. The promise of the Lemurians and or Star Nation, if you like, is this. If for whatever reason, 
one nanosecond after 2012 and all the heck breaks loose in the universe there. If for whatever reason, one nanosecond later, this planet is not inhabitable anymore, the bus will show up and we will go to the next place. Some believe that's inevitable and that's just a part of the evolution that we're experiencing. We were only supposed to be here for a short time anyway. I don't know. I like to stick around. I kind of like this place. You know, it's, you know, you, you, you can look behind me and you can see the view that I get to, you know, be a part of on a regular basis. Fresh air, clean water, blue skies, green fields. This is a really skookum place to be. And I got to tell you, my vote, my vote goes towards healing. Yeah, there's going to be some purging. Has to be. You got to clean that wound out in order to get some clarity and some healing to take place. But my vote, I like this place. I'd like to stick around for a little while longer. Hmm, how about you?